Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out Backdraft from 1991. Let's get to it. Okay, Backdraft, winner of the Fire Movies poll. If there are any more Fire Movies you want me to see, make sure you comment below. Ron Howard! Awesome! Chicago 1971. Kurt Russell, yes. If you guys missed the Kurt Russell movies I've done so far, I've done The Thing, which is awesome. And I've also done Big Trouble in Little China, which is hilarious. You're doing it wrong. Who's your brother? You are Stevie. That's right. You do it like this, it'll open up in a fire, you'll get burned and die. Let's go. Ah, Steven, you've come a dozen times. Now give your brother a chance. Huh? What do you say? We'll be back in a minute. Come on. Are they bringing the kid to a fire? Look at him. <laughs> Brothers. Music by Hans Zimmer. Yes! Okay, this is gonna be a great movie. I already know it. Amazing. Hans Zimmer's on my all time best composers list, of course. That would be like a dream come true for a little boy to ride on a fire truck and toot the horn. Oh my gosh. Now. Yes, please stay here. I'm worried this kid's gonna like run into the building or something. Oh my gosh. Great job, Dad! I'm worried this building's just gonna like explode. I don't know what kind of movie this is. <gasps> see, see? Dad! Come on, is, that a gas is it gonna fall on them? Oh, frig. I thought Kurt Russell was the star of this. Is he not? Oh my god. Uh, see, you don't mess with fire. I mean, they were doing what they were supposed to do. Probably shouldn't have brought that kid. Yeah, buddy. Don't take his picture. Freaking paparazzi. Although, if you were a paparazzi like that. That's, that's the money shot for sure. Backdraft, this is gonna be intense, I think. 20 years later, I guess Kurt Russell is not really in this. Just, just that, just that. How you doing? Really trying this fireman thing again? Quitting the academy once wasn't good enough, huh? In the blood, Willie. Imagine becoming a firefighter after you saw that as a kid. What's the matter with you? Aren't you even curious? Engine one fifteen, right? Do you have to go to firefighting school, or or do you like apprentice? At any moment, I'm just expecting everything to burst into flame. Now, you know I love when stuff blows up, but this is different. <gasps> oh my god! I was like half kidding. No freaking way. Oh my god. She's pretty. I hope she doesn't blow up. Hey. Hey, Jen. Jen? How long have you been back in town? Four months. I mean, I've been really busy over at the academy. Hmm, and he didn't call her. I work at City Hall, actually. Maybe you and I could, uh, could get together for a beer or something sometime, huh? They have some history, that's for sure. You certainly matured. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, it's nice to know we can still be friends. Maybe a love story. Oh my god! He blew backwards into his car? <gasps> Holy crap. Is it a vision? It's not really his dad. Well, what do we got here? Fireman's costume. Is he hallucinating this? Thanks for coming to my graduation today, brother. Brother? Does Kurt Russell also play the brother? That's so weird! <laughs> yeah. Talk to Chief Fitzgerald. You're gonna be with the toughest company in the city. 17. My company. Number 17. Brothers working together. Is that De Niro? Inspector. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> Yikes. Like, what would cause uh, an apartment to explode like that? Like a, a gas line? Sean? That's a little tiny fire hydrant. It's Uncle Brian. Remember this. Spinach? 
We don't need no stinking spinach! Mom! Mom, there's a weirdo in the yard! Okay, so he doesn't visit very often, clearly. Brian! Hey, Helen. God, I've about written you off. Is she happy to see him? Who's your daddy today? Steven's not staying here anymore. Oh, he didn't even know. Talk to Helen. Don't worry about falling out of this thing. What have you been ripping off fire stations again? Ah, uh, just some old stuff that Ed Cox gave me. Mm, what are you doing here? Well, I want to know why you mess with my stations. Yeah, why did you? I really supposed to believe you came crawling home because you felt heartstrings moan for the family business. The only problem is in this job, there's just no place to hide. You have a bad day here, somebody dies. Yeah, somebody dies, exactly. I must have told myself a million times I didn't even want to be a damn fire. I need to know. Yeah, I think you're gonna find out, Brian. Gonna be a harsh, harsh lesson here, I feel like. Come on, damn it! Did he miss it? My car wouldn't oh, start! Crap. What are you doing, man? Idiot. That's not a good start. That's a very bad start. These bros. They probably have like a whole mixtape of like fire and hot related songs. Uh, these moments do try me. Be gentle now, act. Parked in front of the hydrant, idiot. Yeah, sorry, bud. That's fair. You can't park oh, in front of a hydrant. I love that they went right through. Amazing. I'm a stickler for the rules. This is why. Ready? Yeah. You're doing it wrong. All right, all right. Stay beside me. I mean, right beside me. All right, yeah. I hope that, like, he can put his ego aside there. This is serious. Jeez. Let's take it from the side, Bo. No! Let's hit this bitch head on! Get some your water! I suppose there's a strategy to fighting fire, right? Like, you have to do it a certain way. <laughs> He's loving Fire is the formidable enemy. It's in the walls. What does that mean? Da 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 dun da 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 dun. Hey yo, this is a dance jumping falls, Lieutenant. So where's the second in companies, huh? Sorry, man. John Wayne time. You're on your own, boss. John Wayne time? What does that mean? I've never seen any John Wayne. Explain this reference to me. He's freaking out. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Alright, respect for these explosions, though. Holy crap. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, go get it! Oh, you guys know I love explosions, but I'm scared of these ones because they might hurt the main guys. Although I'm very impressed by them. Ah. Oh, oh, no. oh, man. Freaking fiery chasm of hell. I don't know. I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, no. oh, no. At what point do you just say, like, we can't save this building, we gotta get out of here? She says they think we got one left behind downstairs, the civilian! A person? Take Tim and do a search! Let's go, kid! I don't have a good feeling about this. I don't have a good feeling about this whole movie. I feel like everybody might die. Shit. Over here! Someone's over here! <sighs> Bro, no, 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 you gotta, you gotta tell your buddy. Where's my brother? Oh, oh, um, how close is this to real firefighting? Like depicting what, what it would actually be like. Real firefighters. Or people who know, tell me. I got one! Somebody give me a hand! His brother know or else they're gonna think he's in there and they're gonna look for him, right? She's gonna be alright. I'm afraid you're a little too late with this one. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sorry to hear about the mannequin. I heard you two were close. <laughs> In theory, he's a good firefighter here. 
You got an awful short memory for direct orders. Look, I heard somebody call me. I told you to stay right up beside me, Brian. He's scared he's gonna lose him. We wanted to talk to you about Alan Seagrave's death. We still haven't gotten a fire report from your office. Get that answer as soon as I do, ma'am. A man gets stuffed through the windshield of his own car. By an explosion. We're starting to get the feeling that your office is dragging out this case. And if my investigative methods happen to muck up the campaign of certain mayor wannabes, I gotta tell you, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. I feel like he's a no-nonsense guy. He'll get to the bottom of it. Task force, three guys have died already this year because of cuts made by your task force. Oh, wow. So, you know that little glow that started to blink in the corner of your eye? That's your career dissipation light just went into overtime. I feel like firefighters should get whatever they need. So this is that big city job you were talking about, huh? Yeah. Welcome home, Brian. Her whole outfit hair is so 90s. I love, love, love it. You saved the life, man. I love it here. Yeah. Fighting 17. God damn. This kid's got Maxi. You see how he took that fire? By the ball. I'm going to be that good someday. Although I feel like this kid's going to die. This, this better be good. Yeah. Or we feed you to the thing. Cute. 90s Kurt Russell. He's a cutie. Appropriate that we recognize the two ass wipes first. To ten. He not only took on the beast, but pulled from its clutches, assisted by a more famous and brilliant firefighter, <laughs> me. <laughs> and to Brian. <laughs> Oh my god, I was thinking they were not gonna let that go. Hey, District. hey. how you doing? Here's the man with your time, Chief Jack Fitzgerald. Is that his wife with someone else? Well, ex-wife or whatever there? Probationary fireman Brian McCaffrey on his very first fire showed the kind of bravery and courage of a veteran firefighter. Is that the mannequin? Hey, Axe, get a load of this shit! I, McCaffrey first gained prominence as a subject of a 1972 Pulitzer Prize winning photograph taken at the scene That's of That's me, right death. there. Dude won a Pulitzer for that photo. Good job. Could be worse. They could have noticed it was a mannequin. Brian, this is my boss, Alderman Swayzak. He really wanted to meet you. Oh, are they gonna use him politically? See that? That's a mannequin. He doesn't even want it. He doesn't want the attention. Took you all of 30 seconds to blow that off. You're smarter than that. I'm trying to do something here. Can't you see that? Oh, she likes a certain fireman the best. Come on, bro, you are super handsome. Just go ask another lady. Although it's probably all wives. Alan, can I just, can I talk to you for a minute? It's about Sean. Steven, what about that dumbass brother of yours? Wait, wait a second. <laughs> You're saving a mannequin. I mean, how fucking stupid can a guy get? He's gonna clock him. Uh-oh. Come on, that. Boof, <laughs> that was a punch. Damn, you can't feel it. We don't need a drink. We need to get the hell out of here. Let's go. Oh, that was great. You know, uh, no, he's all right. He said something. Listen, I can walk by myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got news for everybody. I'm not my old man. You know, I'm not. I, fire won't get me, Brian. I don't know more about fire than all of you. I know more about fire than all of you. Why don't you trust me anymore, Brian? You guys just don't trust me anymore. Drum machine is so 90s. I love it. It's getting the hang of it. All right, all right. Oh, maybe not. Keep practicing. I'm excited about this montage. a brush and a bath. Not breaking any records, Brian. Get it on your shoulder. Is he eventually gonna earn his respect or not? <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, roll the hose. What, are you kidding me? Hold that hose by myself? What about Tim? Roll the hose. You got a problem with drilling now, Proby? Is that it? No! I don't have a problem with drilling. Got a problem with something. Hey, roll the hose now. I'm not gonna quit, Steven, you hear me? It is kind of like he's trying to get him to quit. He's pushing him hard. My baby is still a family! I feel like in every single fire in a movie, it's always, my baby! Look out! Oh, oh frick, frick, frick. No time! <gasps> when it goes back like that, what is that? It's in the walls? Alright, you ready? Quick, Steven, we gotta wait for the hose. Come on, I say it won't get us. 
hold your breath. <laughs> Is Kurt Russell gonna die again in this movie? Go, 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 go. Pose it. Whew. Well, that was freaking close. Steve, Steve. All right. Kick the ass, Bull. Way to go, Bull. Way to go, Bull. You look hot, literally hot, because of fire. What do you think, Brian? Time to move on? You win, Steve. You're the best. Is that what you wanted? Brian. Oh, he's gonna go, go work with De Niro, maybe. Listen, Jen, I, uh... Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. I do want to see more De Niro. If the offer's still on the table, I'd, I'd like to talk about it. That, that's great. Really great news. Marty's a, a good man, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he wants to. I think it's a, it's a last resort for a job that's fire-related, but he doesn't know if he can be a fireman. I'm Brian McCaffrey, your new assistant. I'll get to you later. I don't want to have to deal with you now. All scarred up. Sorry, Swayzak sends you down here. Fine. I gotta eat you. Those are the rules. I got nothing to say about that. You step out of line, you make one false move, you're out of here. Don't think you're the first. And I feel like we're gonna be screaming at him a lot. Where are we going? Pest control. Brian McCaffrey. Yeah, sure you know. That's Stephen. Hey, do I know you? Your dad did. Yeah, who is this guy? Tell him about us down on State Street. I just lost my concentration, I guess, in my animal turned on me got the whole place going like hell so he's an arsonist yeah and suddenly i was alive i was being pulled out of there by my hero my shadow here <laughs> he saved him explosion lit him up so bright left his shadow on the wall interesting as supervising psychiatrist i would describe mr bartell's progress as remarkable i recommend parole parole he's in love with setting fires if released will you commit these crimes again no no i won't shadow Remember this? What did you do to that little girl, Rob? What would you like to do to the whole world? Burn it all. Yeah, he's nuts. Don't let him out. <clears throat> <gasps> uh oh. <sighs> yeah, we figured the body's the owner. Some guy named Pascro. Explosion blew out the flame before the first engine even got here. What is going on? <gasps> oh, blah. Ew. We got heavy smoke stains observed in entry room. All right, yeah, what's going on? This little all that trapped heat lying low waiting for some sucker to give it one big gulp of air. Another backdraft. Backdraft. This is our point of origin. Let me have a crowbar. The outlet? How can he tell? Well, if it's arson, somebody figured a new way to hide it. So it's not arson? I mean, it has to be. We have an arson investigator in this movie. I feel like it is arson. Stephen, what, what are you doing here? Just fixing my roof. So what's going on, Steven? I wonder if they'll fix this up or not. That's Brian. He's out. I mean, he probably hates my guts, but at least he finally took a look in a mirror. So once again, Steven's right and somebody else is wrong. Oh, that's such bullshit. They're fighting already. Hey, what up on it, Helen? You just couldn't live with that? Maybe he's meant to be a, an investigator. Maybe this is better for him. I hope fire doesn't come out. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, shit. We don't love fire. Who? The killer. He used magnesium to make it look like an accident. That scared the crap out of me. The backdraft blew out the flame. That's it. That's the reason. We got a stone killer trying to make a point. What point is that? And I want to make sure this torch doesn't walk. We're going to wait. What, till the next one? Uh, welcome aboard. <laughs> nice boat you got here. Look at that shirt. He misses it. He wants to be back on the truck. It's where he belongs. I know he has what it takes. I think. I think he does. He's just still learning. Can you get me out of here? Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go and pick her up. We're getting out of here. This is my office. Impressive, huh? Oh, yes. It's very nice. You see those doors up there? They lead to the hayloft when they used to have the old horse-drawn engines. Horse-drawn engines? Can you imagine? How'd they put the fire out? Just like buckets of water? I knew that I really wanted to be a fireman. Why'd you quit? I should have said I wanted to be a good one. It's just a confidence problem. He has to trust his gut. They show me a fire truck. 
Ooh, upside down kissing, like Spider-Man. Where is it? I don't know. There's alarms going off on three different floors. Meanwhile, I hope nothing happens here. Like while he's hooking up on the fire truck, and then the elevator explodes or something. And every time I've said I hope nothing explodes, it then explodes. So. High rise gigs give me the creeps. Yes, me too. We're early in this one again, and Aiden broke out yet. We're one short with Brian gone. Let's wait for the next ten engines. Let's catch it before it does break out. Should have listened to him. Now that guy's probably gonna die. Now let me take the lead, Steven. Jesus, man, do your job. They need a line over there. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That guy's gonna die now, because you made him go. She's hot and smoky, but she's not rolling yet. Something's happening. We're building here to a climax. <gasps> <laughs> That's not what you want. Here we go. Now get that mask back on. Right. Something's gonna happen. Oh no! Check that door for heat, Tim. Oh no! His face. <laughs> Is he gonna die? God. Hey, Shadow, you got one here. Oh, Christ. Steve. Oh, man. I don't know a lot about burns, but I know that if you get burned, even if you're alive, you might still die from the burn, like later. How is he? He's alive. Is he alive? Oh, okay, okay. I should have been there. None of us should have been there, Brian. He just didn't listen to me. He's a candidate. Your responsibility. You burned him, Steven. That's not fair. Oh, crap. But I guess he probably should wait for backup. I don't know. Ah! Oh, boys. Come on. Not in the ER. Inspector. Hold him. When are you going to catch the prick that's doing this, Don? The fact we haven't found any connection between the victims at all. Why wouldn't he just tell them? They're like, yeah, I've got something. Not ready. You got Seagrave, Cosgrove, and now Holcomb. Holcomb. I didn't know the name of that victim had been released yet. How do you know that? All right, what aren't you telling us, man? Same thing? He's right. There's residue. Holcomb is the third victim. In a word, Brian, what is this job all about? Is he starting a fire? What is he doing? The music. Oof. It's a living thing, Brian. Breathes. That's what I see. Hates. Hates. It hates. The only way to beat it is to love it a little. Just like Ronald. Wow. Chad, we checked and your boss was partners with all three of the murder victims in a company called Lakeside Dynamics. He's keeping that a secret. Huh? Get me his files. Do you know what you're asking me to do? Two years ago, Marty Swayzak didn't even know my name. I practically run that office now. Maybe he chose you because you don't ask questions. The boss is a liar, Jennifer. Possibly a criminal. I don't know if she's gonna do it. Do the right thing, Jennifer. Sorry, I came. There's just nobody I can talk to. I really miss you. Does she still love him? That's good. <laughs> I do love breakfast, as you know. Mom! I didn't know you'd be Jam up so early. in there. Steven, can I talk to you a minute? Yeah. He, like, wants to move back in. She's not. I knew who you were when we got married. I mean, you, you haven't... I just can't anymore. He thought it was back on. The chances that you take just... You scare me now would be very, very hard to be married to a firefighter. Or a cop or anything like that. Soldier. That's all right. We'll just, we'll, we'll do it again next Saturday, all right? Love's kind. Poor buddy. We have a city planners meeting in 15 minutes. You've got to level with me, Marty. Is there something about these deaths that you're not telling me? No. Oh, pff. No, everything's fine. She must know, like, some shady's going on. She got him some files. Files? What's yeah. this? Just take 
Did the right thing, Jennifer. This is a copy of Swayzak's Manning report that we all know is bullshit. And I wonder who wrote that report for Swayzak. Well, it has to be someone who knows how to work numbers. Like a bunch of dead financial wizards? CPAs. But why did he go through all this trouble just to cut a few firehouses? When a firehouse closes, Swayzak converts it into a community. <laughs> I think it's time we had a little talk with Mr. Swayzak. Jennifer is about to be fired. Mr. Swayzak? Gas. Check in there. They smell gas? Go. Go. Oh, come on. Don't go back in there. Is De Niro gonna die now? Come on. Come on. Oh, frig. Okay. Here we go. Jesus. I think I got a problem here. Oh, that's not fatal, right? You've come to pick Ronald's brains because nobody knows the animal like Ronald. Who's doing this, Ronald? Does he know? How does he do it? How does he talk to the fire? Go on. Check to chloride. Very good. I feel like this dude already knows. Just tell us. Whoever did this really knows the animal well. They won't let him have any fun, so they don't love him. Now, who doesn't love fire and is around drink to chloride all day long? Oh, my God. God damn it, Steven. No, 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 no. Man, look at your face. I mean, all the things you must be thinking. God, you really hate my guts, don't you? Does he know? Dad was gone. So what was I supposed to do? Because after that, I had no choices. It can't be him. What's going on with you, Steven? I don't know. Is it him? I, don't, I really don't want it to be him. <gasps> oh! That's quite a burn. I see. All right, okay, I don't, th so it's not Kurt Russell, it's this guy, all right. Whew. Is it Ed Cox? How do you know? I didn't until you came to the boat looking for those chemicals, looking for me. I'll handle it. You'll handle it? I, um, all of us are going to arrest him. Are you a part of this? No. Okay, whew. That's a huge relief. Down, down, good sent. Yeah, he's not safe. He's obviously crazy. They they need to arrest this guy now. Call the police. This guy's probably gonna try and kill him in there. Good sin. Like, make way off. Holy sh Great. Ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum. So now they're like one fire truck short as well. They're inside. Got a fire. Oh my god. Christ, Dax. Understand. My Steven, Steven, you back up. Are they really having this conversation right now? I think you, you burned didn't, you didn't You're see. a fire. And those fire. assholes were closing firehouses. I had to, Steven. A bull. You killed our friends for money. What the fuck would you do? Not that. This isn't like a workplace situation, guys. That's criminal. Just go on. Get to the side, run! Also, meanwhile, a fire. Holy sh! Oh my god. I'm like holding my breath. Where the heck is he? I'm in the elevator staff! Like, no one can hear you, man. Can you jump and grab it? Oh. Uh, Oh, that was good. Yeah, run, hustle! Up, 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 up. Oh! <gasps> Everything's flammable. <gasps> Are you serious, guy? I just couldn't let it go, boy. Okay, alright. I thought he might axe Kurt Russell in the face or something. 
on fire let me go bo you go we go oh man Viva! no no don't you dare give him one last look <gasps> i don't think you can save him now man no move david what just lie down Okay, 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 he's gonna be fine. <sighs> oh god. I'm going for the hose. He's going. Go! Holy sh. The choir. <laughs> okay, whew. Look at him. That's my brother, goddammit. Hero. How is he gonna take it? Come on, let's move it, let's move it, David. Let's go. He's gonna make it. Whew, these strings are very unsettling. Don't tell him about that, Cox. It'll hurt the department. I won't. They're not gonna tell? I'm sorry, I ever thought you'd... I... I beat it. Fire never got me. <sighs> Steven, you're gonna make it, you hear me? <gasps> He's bleeding out of his eye. Who's your brother, Brian? You won't, Steven. I think he's gonna die now. Steven, don't you die on me now, you hear me? You hang in there, Steven, we're almost there. Oh man. Died. Kurt Russell died twice in this movie. <sighs> this choir. These detectives would like to question you why you secretly paid Donald Cosgrove, Jeffrey Holcomb, and Alan Seagrave to create a phony manpower study. Checkmate. I'll have my aides look into it as soon as they possibly can. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It's gonna go, right? Imagine your dad and your brother both died in fires and you still keep on firefighting. You guy? We're doing it wrong! One of the boys now. 1.2 million active firefighters in the US today. Huh. The end. Wow, a movie where Kurt Russell dies twice. Okay guys, well that was Backdraft and that was a good one. It was just a classic like brothers, family bonding story with like, you know, some relationship drama there and trying to learn to respect each other and all that stuff um, and be there for each other. But then also all the fire stuff was pretty intense. As you guys know, I love explosions. I love fire in movies. In this movie, the fire was the villain. So I had to kind of switch gears. I wasn't like cheering for explosions, even though like the explosions were awesome in this. They were very, very awesome. But and gonna kill Kurt Russell and so it was kind of a, a backwards explosion situation for me but I really liked it. MVP I'm gonna give to Kurt Russell. He died twice. I mean 
who else could play their own dad in a movie? Both characters die. We saw him cry. We saw him heroically fighting fires. He was kind of, you know, a vulnerable character. He had flaws. He wasn't perfect. You know, the marriage didn't get back together. And then in the end, you know, he died again. Kurt Russell is imminently charming and I very much enjoy him in the 90s, especially, I think. I really enjoyed him in The Thing too. So I'm gonna make Kurt Russell as both the older brother and his own dad. He's the MVP. Loki MVP, I'm gonna give to the music. I thought it was great. Lots of like 90s like drum pads and synths, but then also like strings and choirs. It was good. It was really good. It was quite epic, uh, quite triumphant and like ominous when the fire was there. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the music a lot in this. Hans Zimmer, you can never go wrong with Hans Zimmer. So very much enjoyed the music music is the Loki MVP. And the worst award we're just gonna give to the fact that real firefighters do die in fires and that's crazy and sad. And so that's what we're gonna say. Respect to all the real firefighters out there. Fire is nothing to be messed with. Overall, this one was really good. And yeah, a lot of respect obviously to real firefighters and heroes who risk their lives for other people. All the respect goes there. If there are more firefighter movies I should check out, make sure you let me know. If there's more Kurt Russell movies I should check out, more Ron Howard, more movies scored by Hans Zimmer, make sure you let me know all that down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.